It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2018 Explorer Sport in ruby red metallic, black leather interior, seating for seven, four doors and a hatch. And this has a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four wheel drive. It also has power third road seats, heated and cooled seats for the driver and passenger up front, reverse camera, as well as navigation. And it's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four wheel drive. Let's have a look inside. In the door as well as power windows. There's also a grab handle making it easier to get in. And in this row you have seating for three with a 60-40 split. You can bring down the headrest simply by pushing the button and then pull the lever at the base of the seat and it'll bring it right down. You now have access to the back cargo area, which has the two seats in a 50-50. I've pulled the clip again and it's brought the seat right out of the way. And I've got one of the seats down and the other one up and it does have power access in the back there where you're seeing the light. So you can fold, stow, and bring the seats up in the normal position. And then you have a bin with a couple of cup holders. When you want to bring the seat back down, simply put your hand on the top, push down, and then pull the back of the seat back into the upright position and flip up the headrest. In the center is an armrest with a couple of cup holders, slim pockets in the back of the front seats. In the center there, we have our climate control, heated seats for this row, as well as your 12 volt. And you also have a 110. And there's the USB, and I shouldn't say 12 volts, sorry, that's two USB outlets. Up top, you're seeing the twin panel moonroof. You also have lighting and hooks. Speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. There's also memory for three drivers, and your driver's seat is powered with lumbar. You have the nice Explorer badging on the sill, and your lighting controls are located here. You have your liftgate release, as well as tow. And on the steering wheel, you have your dash controls, adaptive cruise control, media controls, volume, and hands-free dialing. There's also paddle shifters, one on the left here and the other one on the right, located there. Now this is a push start, so my foot's on the brake, key's in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. Two menus are gonna appear, and the one on the left is the one we're gonna go into first, and it's got display mode, trip one and two, fuel economy, driver assist, settings and on the right hand side we're seeing entertainment navigation phone and you notice they change color in the center your air vents and you're seeing your display you have your heated steering wheel as well you've got your audio that you can touch on and that'll show you your sources am fm series satellite radio cd and bluetooth you also have your navigation and the map will come up for that and we can put our vehicle in reverse. We're going to see our backup camera view. So the white lines are showing us the direction we're going as we turn the steering wheel. The dotted black is the center line and green, yellow, red is how close you are when you're going in reverse to other objects or vehicles. And I'm going to put us back into park for safety's sake. And there's our map. We want to go back home. We just touched the little house and you're seeing climate. You're going to see the dual climate control for both driver and passenger. There's your heated steering wheel again, AC and your front and rear defrost. And then you can go into settings. You're gonna see different options there. You can slide through. So your navigation Bluetooth are there again, and you have your uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. You can actually change the look of your display screen, lighten and darken it, ambient lighting. And then down below, you have your camera view off the front and the rear. That's the front that you were just looking at. And when we put the vehicle in reverse, you were seeing the back one. Parking sensors, hazard lights, CD player. And then we have our front and rear defrost, AC and max AC, dual climate control for driver and passenger, heated and cooled seats for both driver and passenger as well. And we can press on the sink here, down below you're gonna see USB and 12 volt. And we can just close that right up. You've got your automatic shifter and a couple of cup holders, your ambient lighter, the rings that are in the bottom there. And then you're seeing the hill descent and you're seeing your different modes here. And that's mud rut mode active. I'm just turning the dial, sand mode, and snow gravel grass, and we'll go back to the normal one, and that should come up, there you go, normal mode active. So as the terrain changes, climate changes, you can dial through for the different options there. And then your armrest, it's just a click, you can open it right up, there's a 12 volt in there, or sorry, that's a USB, I keep on saying 12 volt, it's a USB, sorry about that. And you've got room, of course, off to the side is your glove compartment, and you have an auto dimming rear view mirror, lighting controls, sunglass holder, 
universal garage door opener and you have a power screen as well as a power moonroof and I'm just gonna push the button for slide you can also tilt it and then you can do the screen as well and that'll come across nice blue skies today and grab handle on the body just making it easier to get inch wheels black door handle with intelligent access meaning when the fobs in close proximity you can lock and unlock the doors and you also have keyless entry keypad in the back there's a spoiler and a windshield wiper and you've got your backup camera just below the Explorer badge because this has the sport package you're seeing this dark accents on there and that badge across would normally be chrome and it's black because this is a sport it also has backup sensors on its bumper and then when you're ready to open up that lift gate all you have to do is double click your fob you can also release it from inside and I'm gonna put my hand in there in the handle it'll pop right open for you and then you're seeing the two seats in the back it's a 50 50 split and we can power them down back up into the normal position or fold and you're gonna see those controls off to the side there's your 12 volt and lighting and then when we're ready we can use the handle on the right but you can also use the button so you just press that it'll chime to let you know that it's going down securely and then you can just lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure and on your fob you have remote start power lift gate privacy glass in the back windows, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors with integrated turn signal and blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, front sensors, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.